continuing with our third quarter final. And here we have it, Dusseldorf Vienna trying to remain unbeaten as the burner moves left, uses the screen from Sonell. Carlton Burner got his pocket picked. Kevin Bryant with the lock again. Not 100% with a knee injury, but he's still scrapping and fighting. He'll miss the hook. Sonell corrals the rebound. He'll get it over to Carlton Brunner. Carlton Brunner, step back. Oh, fires it to Sonell. And Sonell is fouled. Got hit on the wrist there. So one shot coming up for Fabio Sonell. F.A. B.O. L.O. U.S. Knocks it down. From the strike to get the scoring started for Vienna. Not a bad tournament for Fabio, averaging four game for his squad. Nicholas Krop drops off the package. He gets it back. Krop can't get it to drop. And this is the type of shot you want Nicholas to start hitting consistently. Look, again, we talked about this. He's a gifted offensive player. I think you and me both believe in his abilities. But sometimes in games like this, and this tournament, actually, all of it, he's been very good defensively, but offensively, his shot has not gone down. I, I honestly think that it's more mental. It's almost like similar to what you see with uh, with Pervort in his. Pervort can shoot the lights out, but he has to maintain his confidence. And I think Krop is his confidence is struggling right now, and that's why he's missing shots. But I've seen this kid just absolutely shoot it lights out on more than one occasion. That's why he's the X Factor in this game. If he doesn't get it going and he's missing open shots, this game will be over quickly, Bob. Trust me. Bob. Defended by Diggs. Crop drive, kick, Bryant, Faker. Finishes with the scoop. Each team on the board. Burner. Pulls up, Nico, no, Diggs will squeeze it. He's got the Wilson in hand, he's got an ISO. Carlton Brunner fires another one. He'll get. To, he'll have to get reloaded. Now Diggs with an ill-advised attempt from the corner. So Vienna forcing a few. I know that they, uh, you know, they were connected like Google Meets yesterday. But today, uh, they're offline to start the contest. Yeah, and again, it's, it's also the quality of shots they're getting now. All of the shots they're taking are contested looks. Yesterday, they got open off of drives, kicked it out, and then got open looks at the basket. Besides that, they had Diggs creating some wonderful individual shots, by the way. Werner decides to drive this time. And a good decision for Vienna. They assume a one-point advantage. Bryant. Oh, great defense. What timing from Tony Blazon. They're going to decide whether or not there should still be some time left on the shot clock. If, it, if they do put some time on it, it'll be likely less than a second. But you can see Blazon stand disciplined defensively. As he tells Kevin Bryant to go away, he wanted the shot clock violation, but... I don't think he's going to get that. Five. So that, that's a quick touch and shoot. Leon, the 14. Nope. Desperation heave. You know, I didn't, when I was studying up for this matchup, I didn't even look at the top scores for Dusseldorf because. They average 12 and a half points. Per, they're lucky to be here averaging 12 and a half points per game in group play. They have no leading score. But if you keep the track, it's Leon for team. Crop. Crop on the move. It's like a gazelle. You saw him just galloping <laughs> majestically towards the bucket. Yeah, and then I feel like a... I feel like a flute should be playing or something while he's <laughs> driving to the bucket. Uh, look, he's using those long arms to keep the ball up high as well and still retains his dribble through traffic. That's, I like that. 
Nicholas Crop averaging three per game. Will not connect on the free throw line. And one of nine from distance in this tournament so far. I'm the voice of 3x3, Kyle Montgomery, at 3x3 The Voice. And the man with the deep voice is Boz Rosendahl. He's the mountain. You can find him at Boz.Rosendahl on the gram. Exactly. Fight night. He ain't never scared. Fabio, he will dash to the rack and get the score plus the foul. What a luxury to be able to add Sonell to the squad this year and have him step in and play such an important role. Look, defense first, physicality first, but he can play some offense now. Yes, and, and can actually step out there and shoot the two as well. Vienna, by the way, coming in with wins over Lehman and Hangju as one of the four undefeateds. That was a specialty scoop. I see you, Kevin Bryant. Now Bryant. Trying to lock up defensively. Burner. No splash. Bryant can't get the rebound, but Fertini does. Now it's KB. Two piece in the corner. No. Windler will clean up the glass. And he'll put it up and in. 43. Carlton Burner. He wants to ISO. Lazan. Oh, get out of here with that mess. Fertie for the mid-range, no good. Windler will corral it. Offensive rebound, and another attempt for Bryant. That was a heck of a dish. I like the way Dusseldorf is attacking Vienna's drop coverage defense. They're breaking right after they get over the screen to get the defender on their back, and then they're attacking downhill two on one. That's a great scout. They, they have figured out the way that Vienna's playing those screens, and they've, they've taken advantage of, of checking out the tape and learning how to attack that. Film study matters, and it is uh, paying dividends here early as Dusseldorf are trying to make their way to the semifinals. It will be the first time this year, but they have been an emerging team. Best they've placed on the world tour this year was sixth in Lausanne. Have had some good showings in the in our challenger circuit. But now you're going up against the big boys. This is where you really prove your worth. Almost four minutes in. And hey, Boz, that sun has gone down, I told you. I'm, I'm happy. Oh, I was burning up. It is lovely. Quincy. Where are you going? Nice up fake, but that'll ricochet out of bounds. Again, Dusseldorf forcing the game to be a grind, a, a defensive matchup so far. Vienna, two-time Masters winners, one in Almaty, and they won the last time we saw them play on the tour in Wuxi. For T. Forces the shot. Bad foul. I mean, he was under duress, likely not going to make that shot anyway, so Blazan, I get the contest, but... Nah, he jumped in front of him. He should have just stayed up and tried to contest the shot from the side. Leon, 13, makes it count. Dusseldorf with a one-point lead. Windler saves it. Bryant. Nearly gave it away. You see how Wendler came from the weak side to try to get that lob pass? Again, that is a tactic you employ when you know teams are going to try to seal you. Another good scout for Dusseldorf. I got to say, I, I like the way they prepared for this game. Man, Wendler is just all business, man. Wendler is all business. Diggs. Yeah, to the crib. Smooth. Fatigue finds Bryant on the cut. An inverse layup. Dusseldorf back in front. Culture Brunner wants the screen. They'll whip it over to Q. Diggs now. Making the move behind the back. Can't score it. Q 
Crop gets free. High arch. No. Crop's frustrated. He's got to keep his head in it. And again, having that short memory in DX3 is imperative. Forget the last play, good or bad. You got to get back to work, and they will do just that. Leon using the Windler screen. He will lean in, and he back irons it. Carlton Brunner now moving right, takes the screen from Sonell, feeds him inside. Sonell, no good. Crop will have it. Crop. Oh, Windler missed it. Windler leaves Crop alone. Don't do that. Windler hands it off for T. Fast to the baseline. Got the step, easy layup. I would say that at this point, the game, the tempo favors Dusseldorf. Yes, it has. They, again. Oh, slick behind the back. And then the defense from Sonnell, he says, our ball. I thought it was off of yellow, but maybe I didn't see that properly. He's pretty confident. Oh, but look at that. Behind the back, had he lost in the frame. Fabio putting on the show. For second break in the action. A low scoring affair in this third quarter final. Name of the game is 21, but each team only a third of the way there. Lausanne hiding, and now coming to the light. Now he finds himself wide open. Carlton Brunner sets the table for two. They just need some candlelight next time. Oh, whoa! That was a heck of a crash. Yes, it was. There's that last connection. Carlton Brunner penetrating, whipping it out to the wide open Blanzan. Shut your eyes at me, I saw you. Sip some haterade, there you go. <laughs> 97. Uh, a little bit of miscommunication there by Dusseldorf on the handoff in that play. That might be fatigue starting to show up, I don't know. 337. Two-point lead for Dusseldorf. The Germans getting it done. Diggs to Blazon. Tony! There ain't no place for you in here. There ain't no place in you for here. In here. Oh, Brian was lifted by the shoulder of Blazon, but I was like, how Brian's getting up like that? He almost got horizontal with it. Yeah, no. He was even more athletic before the knee injury. Diggs with the Hezzy. Bryant pulled the chair on him. And now for T. Uh oh. Offensive foul. He got his uh, coffee brother in the chin. Take another look. Yep. What, what do you think about that? Shoulder? Yeah. Shoulder maybe. He just break. So now, gets to the paint. Carlton Brunner, thinking about letting it go from two, decides to feed it inside. So now had position. This, some defensive presence for Crop on the inside. We saw flashes of that yesterday. He lets the two go from deep. Fatigue, that is. It's no good. Stays separated by two points. It might be QD time. I think that is, I think what you mentioned, it is time for someone to step up on Vienna, right? And I think without Murati in the lineup, 
That's always kind of a, a guess. Ooh, he nearly hit that, but yes, glad you mentioned that. Without their leading score throughout this season, Ennis Morati. And if you want to go further back, without Matias Lenortner, who they lost in that their first Masters win in the final in Almaty, an Achilles injury. They still managed to get find their way into the win column, being a number three on the World Tour standings this year. So in line for a big bonus, and they have a, at least a hundred point lead on fourth place Vienna. I mean, uh, fourth place Lima. They have a three point lead in this quarter final. Four point advantage now for Vienna. Fertig baseline. I don't know if Colton Bruner is the guy you want to attack being Lee on Fatigue. Colton Bruner very physical. And Fatigue uh, always tries to get in your body and, and create contact and, and spacing off of that. Uh, my, my concern with Fatigue would be at this point in the game, he knows that his team depends on him so much offensively. It is the Fatigue for Fertig that could be the issue. He exerts so much energy trying to score and he still has to defend just how, I mean, how long can he sustain that? Yeah, and, and look, they've gotten into a low scoring game, but they have, they have not been able to score themselves whatsoever. The last few minutes, they, they've gone January dry. You don't know dry January? I'm just giving you a little taste of your own medicine. All right, I'll explain to you at some point. <laughs> 216 left. So now, oh, 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 okay, shoot his roll. It will go. There's a, the sixth foul on Vienna. Main. Now, we knew that Dusseldorf's offense could potentially be an issue. But seven points, Boss? Man, look, Vienna. Seven? I understand Vienna is a very good defensive team. They're very switchable. They got length. They can contest every shot. And they got the size and strength to stick with. Yeah, they, their defense is good, but it ain't that good. It's that Dusseldorf's offense has been that bad. Well, yep. I, I call it like, and that's not saying they got bad players. They got good players. But their offensive performance in this game has just been that bad. They've got action out of pick and roll and I haven't seen him do that much because it's been a lot of one-on-ones out of those pick and rolls dribbling behind the screen and trying to take your guy to the basket instead I'd say look for Bryant look for Wendler and see if you can get him either in a mismatch or off the screen running towards the basket they'll get it to fatigue Leo leaning in finally gives him a bit of a spark that too makes it a three-point game Diggs has a kick that'll be a fresh a 12 second shot clock for Vienna to take over with. But another look at Leon leaning with it. And rocking it from D. Again, the third quarter final. The other quarter, uh, the other semi final is set, by the way. Right on Boris Hop Trans. Beat through the guitar and Amsterdam with a runaway win in their quarterfinal. Alton's corner as he has. Man. Alton's going to step it up. For T, he wants another two. He's going to get a look. He will force that. Oh! We may not see that again this year. That's special trickery. That's because it's Halloween. How did he? I gotta see that again. Bajan, no. We're approaching a minute to play. Oh, Fertig, bouncy with it. And it's a two-point game. 
If they beat Griffa, they gotta believe that they can beat Vienna too. Look, they're in this, man. It's a one possession game under a minute. The fouls are starting to rack up for both teams, though. Dusseldorf now at the double bonus, so because this is a double foul, nothing will be uh, happening as a result. But if they foul on the defensive end again, it will be two free throws for the Austrians as well as possession. That is a spot you never want to be in in 3x3, especially in a closed game like this. Yeah, Dusseldorf just trying to get as much experience as they can throughout the rest of this season. They are 20th in the World Tour ranking, so they, we won't be seeing them in the World Tour final. I think it's pretty confident in saying that. Too maybe, much, too maybe, much ground to make up. Maybe a performance spot. But they, but okay, yeah, good catch there. They might get a performance spot for how well they played in challenges this year, but that's a discussion for another day. Diggs, nope, he tracks it down. Q, we'll use some time. Prop in front of him, kicks it over. So now, no good. Prop. They love to see Nicholas hit a two. Instead, they give it to Fertig, and they. It just kind of let Fertig ISO and they're yep. live with the results. Look, and, and this time, Quincy Diggs got too close. Fertig was able to show, show the contact, and now he's going to have an opportunity to tie the game with under 30 seconds to go uh -oh. from the free throw strike. Don't look now. Uh-oh. We've seen this. We have. Oh, Not a back-breaking free throw miss. Get within one here, you still got a chance to win it again. 29 seconds left for T. Makes it count on the second attempt. Diggs downhill. No good. Crop keeps it alive. Over to Fatigue. We got 20 seconds to go. He already had a game winner day one. What's he gonna do here in the quarters? Leon Fatigue. Nicholas Crop. No, there's a foul. There's a foul. A whistle. Hold on, Diggs. Nine seconds to go. Can Dusseldorf steal this one? This is Dig give, Diggs giving up four free throws with contests on twos down the stretch. Actually, not a contest on the first foul, but not smart play there. Dusseldorf all the way from the qualifying draw. They've had more tread off of their tires than any other team. They've been running on fumes. Hart has carried them through. Will it carry them through to the semifinals? Nicholas Kropp, the X Factor we talked about from the beginning of the game. The two biggest shots of the contest right here, right now. Kropp ties the game. 13 all. Second free throws out. Vienna can win it. They'll give it to Diggs. Diggs to Kante Bruder. He misses. Loose ball. Kante Bruder. They're going to run out of time. We're going to OT. Wow. Oh, what? my goodness. What just happened there? What the bejesus is happening in this game? Well, overtime, our first overtime yes. of the tournament. Wow. Well, we got a thriller. Absolutely. This game going to OT. The first team to score two points will advance to the semifinals. Interesting to see what Dusseldorf does here as far as tactics. Look, their two-point shooting hasn't been on point. Are they going to go in to try to draw a foul? Here is the last call. No good from Kropp. That's the shot they wanted. And look, it was online. It bounced on the rim and fell out. This is, for Vienna, this is usually when you see Enes Morati step up, right? So who's going to be the guy? We will find out. They'll get it to Tony Blazon. He misses over to Quincy Diggs. Colton Bruner, Berna, up fake. 
forcing the two, leads in, unbelievable! Berna burns him in OT! A Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater! Nico Kolchenbrunner MVP at the Europe Cup this year! And he will be MVP of this game if that bucket stands. Gotta pay attention to where his feet are. We can't see it from that ankle angle. But this is how you use your window of opportunity. Off of the square, that bucket is good. And Vienna advanced by the hairs on a chinny chin chin. Close call, but Vienna will move on past Dusseldorf in overtime. Wow.